Hello and welcome to a Vector Tet's Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tape measure with the Illustrator 3D effects. First I'll make the flat tape measure art by drawing a yellow rectangle. Click once on the artboard with the rectangle tool and I'm going to make it actual size. Even though my units are set to points, I can enter 12 IN to make it inches and I'll set the height to 50 points. Now I'll make the tick marks using the line segment tool and I'll turn on the smart guides to make this easier. Just hold down the shift key to draw a straight line on the edge of the rectangle. Now I need another one an inch apart and here's a neat tip. You can change your document's units on the fly by showing the rulers then right clicking on the ruler to choose. I want inches of course and now with the selection tool active press the return or enter key to bring up the move dialog box. Enter one inch horizontal and zero vertical then click copy. Now I'll make the half inch mark by option dragging a copy to the middle. I'm holding down the shift key to keep it vertically aligned. Then do the same for the quarter inch marks and for the eighth inch marks. I'll just fast forward here. Now select all the strokes and distribute them evenly. I can delete this second inch mark because I'm going to copy the others and it will be redundant. As we did before, press return or enter to move and copy one inch. Then press command D ten more times to fill out the rest. Add the numbers in a similar fashion by creating one of them, then move copying the rest. I have the text aligned on the right, so when you get into double digits, they remain in the right place. There's the finished object, and to use it with a 3D effect, we need to make it into a symbol. Simply drag it into the Symbols panel, give it a name if you wish, and ignore all this other stuff, because that's for Flash. Now you can see the symbol thumbnail in the symbols panel, and the original object can be deleted or moved out of the way. To make the 3D object, I'm going to use the spiral tool and draw out a simple spiral. It has a fill and stroke of none, so I'll stroke it with that same yellow that I used for the tape measure. With that still selected, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude, and Bevel. Click the Preview button, then choose Off Axis Top as the position. The extrude depth is 50 points, which matches the height of my tape measure symbol. Now to add the tape measure art to the 3D object. You can do this without closing the dialog box, but if you have, just click on the effect in the appearance panel to bring it up again. Click Map Art and you get this window. It has a thumbnail of each surface of the 3D object, which is highlighted in red on the object itself. Here is the bottom edge of the tape, and you can click through to all the other surfaces. Here's the top edge. A gray section in the thumbnail represents a surface that's not visible. In other words, it's behind the part that you can see. This surface has both gray and white sections because the 3D object is a spiral. Click this drop-down menu and choose the symbol to apply it. Click Scale to Fit, and there's the curled tape measure. It looks a little flat now, but we can remedy that by bringing up the dialog box again and clicking Shade Artwork. Then you can adjust the lighting and other settings in the main 3D window. Here I've created a second symbol with centimeter marks and mapped it to the other surface of the tape measure. And for a finishing touch, I created this reflection by duplicating the 3D object, placing it below the tape measure, then applying an opacity mask to fade it out. I have another quick tip that goes into depth about the opacity masks if you want to check that out. But you can see that with a few simple shapes and the 3D effect, you can make a realistic vector object fairly quickly. Thanks for watching.